comparing Eastern and Western medicine in the treatment of common colds, flus, and epidemics such as the coronavirus. Here's a timeline of the Eastern and Western interventions for a cold or flu. The orange shows the Eastern medicine prevention and all four levels. The Western medicine, if there's a vaccine available, it'll have prevention and otherwise it intervenes at three and four. In Eastern medicine, at any level one may recover and recovery is faster with intervention. The time between levels depends on one's health. So the stronger one's health, the slower the passage through the levels. The poorer one's health, the faster the passage. There was a lost opportunity when coronavirus hit. We didn't have a vaccine, which meant that Western medicine only intervened at level three and four, which is late stage and pretty dangerous. Eastern medicine, which was done in Asia, was both prevention and level one, two, three, and four. A lot of people did complete integration. When it hit, 80% of the Chinese used traditional Asian medicine, both acupuncture and herbs, to limit the severity and duration of the coronavirus. And the Beijing Health Commission stated that traditional Asian medicine helped improve outcomes by 92% with less symptoms, improving recovery speed, and resulting in fewer deaths. Harvard Medical School recently did an acupuncture study that showed that it tames the cytokine storm, which is a devastating aspect of the coronavirus. So looking at Eastern and Western medicines in depth, timing, diagnosis, and interventions. So Eastern diagnosis, the time is immediate. You would see a traditional Asian medical practitioner. They would examine the, t the tongue and pulse and consider symptoms, and they would make a diagnosis and give you a treatment immediately in that session. So you'd begin feeling better within hours of a session. In Western diagnosis, it takes time, a few days to a week or more to diagnose, and that's because of taking and processing lab results, and then the doctor advises on those lab results. And in that time, Generally, there's no intervention beyond home advice, which is hydration, bed rest, taking Tylenol or Advil to reduce the fever, and there's really no early intervention. The result is the patients struggling at home with illness on their own. If they had been getting Eastern medicine, they'd be getting better. If they're getting worse, they're going to need serious Western intervention. Now to look at the interventions and levels. The Eastern medical focus is always prevention. So they're going to prepare and prevent the wind attack, balancing and strengthening the righteous chi and the body through acupuncture and herbs. And there's many herbal formulas, such as Bujang Yi Chi Tong, Yu Ping Feng San, Huang Chi Ti, Chaga and Reishi which help improve immunity and increase T cell count. Western medicine's focus is vaccines for prevention. Uh, the concerns with this is that it can take a long time to create. For example, all of 2020, we haven't had a vaccine. It takes time to distribute. It typically is effective for 67 to 92% of the population. The antigenic drift of the virus may make the vaccine obsolete, and then will everyone take it? And it can cause unpleasant side effects for some people. Um, it's expensive and there's profiting pharmaceuticals. In the Eastern Wind Attack, the first level is the Wei Qi or Protective Qi level. The symptoms would be just becoming aware that you're getting ill, you'd be tired with a malaise, maybe temperature sensitivity, possibly a fever, high fever, headache, unfocused, possibly sinus congestion, cough, phlegm, dry sore throat, floating pulse. The Eastern intervention at this level would be acupuncture and herbs. There's an acupuncture treatment to release the exterior, clear toxic heat, disperse lung chi, and bolster righteous chi. And this would be acupuncture, gua sha, cupping. There's herbal formulas very common to this level, gan mao ling, yin chao song, and also using chog and reishi or huang chi ti to keep boosting the immune system. The Eastern Wind Attack second level is the Qi level. The path engine is traveling deeper into the body now, the Kuli Meridian Qi. Symptoms are becoming also more extreme, so chills and fever, high fever, extreme fatigue, body aches, headache, unfocused, possibly sinus congestion, dry sore throat, thirst, nausea, no appetite, poor digestion, bloating. And the Eastern intervention at the second level is acupuncture and herbs, treatments to clear the toxic heat, stagnation at qi level, improve righteous qi, using acupuncture, gua sha, cupping, herbal formulas, could be any one of wrench and baidu san, ma sheng shi gan tang, chai ge jie zhe tang, da sheng lang tang, zhao chai hu tang. The Western cold flu assessment is that this is mild symptoms of the upper respiratory. Generally, there's no true Western medical intervention at this point. So the advice is pretty much stay home, bed rest, hydration, Tylenol, acetaphetamine, is an analgesic. It really only focuses on the fever, bringing that down, and also mild pain reducer. It has side effects. 
There's Advil, ibuprofen is an NSAID. It reduces fever, pain, and inflammation. There's also some side effects. There's over-the-counter medications, but these tend to mask symptoms. They're overly drying, cause deficiency, heat, delay recovery. The third level in Eastern medicine, the pathogen has now traveled into the lungs, the yang level, nutritive level, heat in the lungs. The symptoms would now be shallow, painful breathing, cough with chest congestion, either a dry or wet cough, with white, yellow, green, or blood tinged phlegm, easier, difficult to expectorate. There's going to be a fever, it'll be high, or a tidal fever, smoldering in the yin, worse at night with insomnia, so it might kind of wave in and out. There's discomfort and restlessness, cyanotic lips. The third level's Eastern intervention is acupuncture herbs. Acupuncture improves breathing, resolves toxic heat in the lungs, and acupuncturist could guide you on an appropriate herbal formula. The Western assessment at this level is that it's moderate symptoms, it's lower respiratory. They'd either give you advice, bed rest, hydration, Tylenol, Advil, over-the-counter medications, or intervene with antibiotics or an antiviral. Um, You would probably still be at home treating all of this. With COVID now, as things get more serious and someone's not breathing or they have an oximeter and it shows that they're dropping below 93%, they might go to the hospital. The pathogen travels even deeper now into the blood level, the fourth level, heat in the pyocardium. The symptoms would be a high persistent fever, heat sensations, but cold limbs, severe headache, gasping, poor breathing, chest pain. Cyanotic blue lips, again, show the poor oxygenation of the blood, restless fatigue irritable, fatigue, they're fragile, they're becoming delirious, they might go into a coma and they might die. Eastern intervention at this level is basically integrative emergency with Western medicine. The treatment is to clear toxic heat trapped at yang or blood level, purge fire, open orifice, acupuncturist prescribed possible herbal form. So in the Western assessment, this is severe symptoms and one would be hospitalized. This is a kind of sepsis. The intervention would be emergency, hospitalization, medicines, antibiotics, antiviral, depending on the infection. There would be a ventilator, possibly sedative medications, intravenous drip, monitoring vitals, um, a pretty inexpensive expensive medical bill at the end and generally disapproves of integrative care in-house. In conclusion, with Eastern medicine, intervention happens before one is ill. Prevention goes beyond vaccines. The diagnostics happen immediately. They happen with treatment, which happens immediately. The patient begins to recover immediately. Patients need less serious Western medicines if they need them at all. It's less expensive. It's easily implemented and thereby saving lives, saving hospital beds. With Western medicine, the diagnostic process takes days and it delays treatment. If there's no vaccine, there's only late stage interventions. With a vaccine, there's still problems. It's more expensive to create ventilators or to use emergency late stage Western medications than to use acupuncture and herbs at any stage. And therefore, more people die and patients suffer. In Asia, they have mostly controlled coronavirus by November 2020 and it's out of control in the U.S. The ideal would be Eastern and Western medical integration.